Hi, I'm Eric White, New Jersey Historical Fencing Association. Today I want to talk about a couple of the really important things to keep in mind when using the Pell. Uh, it's something that makes the Pell a little more dynamic than just simply smacking it as hard as you can, or maybe even just working on footwork. And that's imagining what this Pell is supposed to represent. So it's more than just a target, it can also represent a fighter. And if it does represent a fighter, then that should dictate the dynamics of the cuts that you use. In other words, the Pell should be more than just single static, which of course you can do, but it's not the entire use of the Pell. There's more uh, application of Pell work. So I can sit here and just make cuts, and just make cuts. Sure, I can make cuts and practice all of my different cuts, but what I really want to do once I'm beyond the idea that the Pell is just simply there to take shots, is to imagine what my cuts are doing and why I'm choosing those cuts in particular. So, for example, if I go to cut a regular Zornhau, here, here's my basic Zornhau cut. What am I doing here? Well, I'm binding, right? So I have to imagine that if this is a fighter, that the fighter's arms extend outward, and my bind happens somewhere in this area here. So again, here, and from this bind, I want to wind off of it. So maybe I'm going to change my target from a high target to a low, or again from this point, imagining the bind in space right here, I want to wind to the other side, here, to the other side. So again, once I make a cut, I don't want to just bounce off the pal and use that momentum to go to another side. I'm trying to imagine what application my cuts are doing. How am I using my cuts? Cut. Wind off low. Wind off back high. Wind to the other side. Wind low to the other side. Wind high. And what I'm imagining, if you notice the strong of my sword, stayed right about here. Because I'm imagining the bind is occurring right here. See, the strong hasn't moved. And so what that helps me to do is when I go to spar, is to imagine the bind, or to feel the bind, and to then make my sparring look like my pell work. So the two are actually synonymous, or the two are actually going to help each other. They're more symbiotic. So my bind, once I make a cut, so even I bind in hanging point. I feel the bind here. I want to wind off that, wind off that, wind off that, keeping my hilt high the entire time, imagining that a bind has taken place right there.